Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. This is a lesson on fractions and we're going to find out what a fraction is. All right, so you've probably heard this term. You've probably heard it uh, uh, like, you know, in everyday life. You've heard your parents, you've probably heard your parents use it, or your teachers use this word, or your friends use this, this term. And if you already know what a fraction is, then I suggest you go and do some practice exercises at www.homecampus.com.sg. And if you don't know what it is, then uh, you just watch this video, okay? So today you have a chance to find out and learn about fractions. So what a fraction is, is like, you know, the basic definition of fraction is that it is a part of a whole. So a fraction, I'll write that down here. A fraction is a part it's a part of a whole so there are two things here there's a part and there's a whole and a part of a whole is a fraction now what that means is like you know if you take a certain thing let's so let's take a certain thing okay most people use pizzas and pies and like you know bars of chocolate and stuff so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick to the same i'm gonna take a pizza so i'm gonna take a pizza one whole pizza so this is my one whole pizza and i'm gonna locate a fraction of it so what a fraction of it is a part it's a part of the whole what i have is a whole pizza one whole pizza and then i'm gonna divide it into a few parts let's divide it let's slice it up let's cut it up into slices and then try to find out where the fraction lies here okay so what I've done here is I had a whole pizza and I cut it up into four parts, four equal parts. So this is your one part, this is your part two, this is your part three, and this is your part four. So what I did was I had one whole pizza and I cut it up into four parts or four slices. And since our definition says a fraction is a part of a whole, then each of these parts must be a fraction. So there you go. This is a fraction, this is a fraction, this is a fraction and so is this so we'll color them so it's more beautiful so these are your four parts and these are your four fractions now how you write a fraction is a little different okay when you write a fraction you have two numbers you have one number at the top and you have one number at the bottom so let's write this part actually you know let me take an example let me say that you know there were three friends so there were three friends and they took a whole pizza and they sliced it up into four parts and they divided the pizzas, the slices among themselves. So let's take three friends, say Annie. And Annie got this purple slice. So Annie got a fraction of the pizza and her fraction of the pizza is represented by this purple shaded part. So this is the purple slice of pizza that Annie got. Let's write it down here. Now this purple part here is how much Annie got. So we'll write her name next to it. So Annie got one part out of four. So Annie got one out of four slices of the pizza. So the pizza was cut into four slices and Annie received one out of four slices. Now how you write that using fractions is you write one upon four. Okay, I just now mentioned that there are two numbers in a fraction. Now there's a top number here which tells you how many slices Annie got. And the bottom number here, which is four, tells you how many slices the pizza was cut into. So one upon four, or one over four, or one out of four is how much Annie got. So one out of four is written like this. One, then there's a bar, and then you write four, okay? Now let's say that there was another friend, okay? Another friend called Betty, and Betty got this slice of pizza. Let's say maybe she got two slices. So let's color two and three, okay, part two and part three. So let's say that Betty got two slices of the pizza. So Betty got these two slices. Okay, since Betty got two out of the four slices, we will write down her fraction as, okay, first let's write down two out of four slices. So Betty got two out of four slices and therefore the fraction of the pizza that she got will be written down as two upon four. This means that she got two slices out of the four slices, right? Two is the number of slices that she got and four is the number of slices that the pizza was cut into. So Betty got two out of four slices or she got two upon four of the pizza. So the fraction two upon four represents 
the part of the pizza that Betty got, right? 1 upon 4 represented the part of the pizza that Annie got and 2 upon 4 represents the part of the pizza that Betty got. So that's the fraction of the pizza that Betty got, 2 upon 4, and 1 upon 4 is the fraction of the pizza that Annie got. So that's what fractions are. Okay, and that's how you write and represent fractions. Let's uh, also give this last slice to somebody. Let's say Charlie, okay? So we color this brown and we give this brown slice of pizza to Charlie. Let's write that as Charlie's pizza, okay? So this is Charlie's pizza and Charlie got one out of four slices, so then what will his fraction of uh, the pizza be? So he will have one fourth of the pizza, right? Because he got one out of the four slices. So Annie got one out of four slices, so the fraction is one upon four. Betty got two out of four, so the fraction is two over four. And Charlie got one out of four, so the fraction is one over four. Now. I mentioned just now that uh, that a fraction has got two numbers, right? So take any fraction. Okay, let's take uh, for example one upon four. Okay, so we have this fraction one upon four, and there are two numbers in this fraction. There's a top number here, and then there's this line, this bar, and below that bar is a bottom number. Now there's a term for each of these names. Okay, the top number is called the numerator. It's N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E so the top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. Denominator. Now what this numerator tells you is the part of the whole that you got. Okay. So that means that, you know, if, if 1 upon 4 is the fraction of the pizza that Annie got, then 1 tells you how many slices of pizza Annie got. So the top number or the numerator tells you how many slices she got and she got one slice, right? And the bottom number or the denominator, which is 4, tells you how many slices the pizza was cut into. And the pizza was, since the pizza was cut into 4 pieces or 4 slices, the denominator is 4, okay? In the case of Betty, the fraction is 2 upon 4. The numerator 2 tells you that she got 2 slices and the denominator 4 tells you that the pizza was cut into 4 slices, okay? So 2 upon 4. So that's that about numerators and denominators. You'll actually have to remember these names because uh, you'll you'll be using the, these names, these terms, and everything that's related to fractions. So just remember, okay? So the top number is numerator, and the bottom number is denominator. All right. So that's that about fractions. That's the that's the basic introduction to fractions. For other things about fractions, like addition, subtractions, the different types of fractions, and uh, multiplications, and all that stuff as they're related to fractions. Uh, do watch the other videos in the playlist. Now, if you want to go and practice some problems, then do visit www.homecampus.com.sg. Do remember to solve problems because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.